Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing inflation. So inflation is still under the interest and money time relationships. So first, let's discuss what is inflation. So inflation is said to be the increase in the prices for goods and services from one year to another, thus decreasing the purchasing power of money. So that being said, inflation is, for example, you have 100 pesos, 100 pesos, and for this year, your 100 pesos can still buy 3 kilos of rice. However, in the following year, um, there is an inflation wherein your 100 pesos can only buy one and a half kilos of rice. So that is what we call the inflation, wherein um, the power of your money becomes uh, lesser or it decreases um, because the demands or the, the prices of the goods and services increases. So that is given by the formula FC is equivalent to PC times 1 plus F raised to N, where FC is the future cost of a commodity, F PC is the present cost of a commodity, F is the annual inflation rate, and N is the number of years. So in an inflationary economy, the buying power of money decreases as cost increases. So if the buying power of money decreases and the cost increases, you can use the formula F is equivalent to P all over 1 plus F raised to N. But if interest is computed at the same time that inflation is occurring, so we can use this formula. F is equivalent to P times 1 plus I all over 1 plus F. Again, this formula is um, if the interest is computed as the same as the time that inflation is occurring. So this is the formula that we will be using. Where F is equivalent to the future worth of today's present amount P, F is the annual inflation rate and N is number of years and I is also the rate of interest. So if the un uninflated present worth is to be de determined, again, uninflated present worth is to be determined, we can use this formula. P is equivalent to F all over 1 plus I raised to N times 1 plus F raised to N or this one. We have F all over 1 plus I sub CF raised to N, where I sub CF is equivalent to I plus F plus IF, where F is the annual inflation rate, I is the rate of interest, and I sub CF is the rate of interest that can take care of the cost of money and inflation. So the I sub CF is um, already... Um, covered the cost of the money and the inflation. So now, we'll move on to some examples of inflation, some examples on how we can solve inflation. So we have here example one, a man invested 130,000 pesos at an interest rate of 10% compounded annually. What will be the final amount of his investment in terms of today's peso? After five years, if inflation remains the same at the rate of 8% per year. So as you can see, since the inflation remains the same at the rate of 8%, so meaning to say the formula that we will be using is the formula F is equivalent to P times 1 plus I all over 1 plus F raised to N. So from here, we can determine our um, given. So we have P is equivalent to 130,000. Our interest rate, or I, is equivalent to 0 0.10. Our uh, number of years, uh, or N, is 5. And our um, inflation rate, which is 8%. So we have here our given, which is 0 0.08 in decimal form. So from that, from the given, we can already substitute that to our um, formula. So we have P, which is 130,000, 
multiplied by 1 plus i, which is 0 0.10, all over 1 plus f, which is 0 0.08 raised to n, which is 5. So if you try to calculate this one, this will result to 142,491.19, or that is approximately equivalent to just 142,491, or this one. So that is how we solve for the, the inflation if the 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 inflation rate is the same as today. So we have also another example. What is uninflated present worth of 200,000 pesos future value in two years if the average inflation rate is 6%? So the inflation rate is 6% and the interest rate is 10%. Again, we are looking for the uninflated present worth of 200,000 future value. So meaning to say the 200,000 there is our F or the future value or the future cost. So we have 200,000 as our F. We are looking for the P, which is the present worth. And we have the inflation rate or the F, which is equivalent to 0 0.06. And we have the I, which is equivalent to 0 0.10. So from the er from earlier's discussion, we can use the formula to find the present worth on in uninflated present worth, which is equivalent to F all over one plus I sub C F raised to N, where I sub C F is equivalent to I plus F plus i times f, right? So if you can just remember this one from earlier. So from here, we can already find what is our i cf, i sub cf. So since we already know the values of our interest rate and our annual rate, so we can have i, which is 0 0.10, plus our annual rate, which is 0 0.06, plus i times f, which is 0 0.10 times 0 0.06. So that is equivalent to 0 0.166. So that is already our i sub cf. Now we can already compute our uninflated present worth. So we have p is equivalent to f, which is 200,000 all over 1 plus our i sub cf, which is 0 0.166, raised to n, which is in two years. So we have 2. So the present, an inflated pr present worth now is equivalent to 147,106.85. So if you'll... Um, Round that off to the nearest peso, that will give us 147,107 pesos. So this is now our final answer. So I hope you've learned something from this video. I left you with an activity for today. And you need to pass this one right after the time right after our class schedule. So this is your activity for today, Monday, November, November 16, 2020. So this will be your activity for this day. You need to pass this one again at the end of our class schedule, which is at the end of 3.30 p.m. So I'll just create a submission folder in your LMS and just um, paste your answer there or attach your answer there. I hope you, you have learned something from this video and I'll see you on my next videos. Thank you.